Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's amazing space colony simulator extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we are on the LV426, a collection of asteroids that I have just shown you here, where we have taken 12 duplicates into the future, trying to make them as comfortable as possible. And to that end, over on Tyrannu here, the place where we have a lot of carbon dioxide and slicksters that are just trying to die, we need to make this place look a lot better. We've got some, like, some cots thrown over here, we've got some cots thrown down here but they've got to run up to the toilet over this way their mess hall is all the way over here i feel like we can rearrange this area and i feel like we can rearrange it by some by doing something like this Oh wow, we got a whole bunch of stuff that we don't know how to remove, but that's fine, we can deal with that. I feel like we can put some sort of hotel area down here, somewhere where our duplicates can come and rest their heads and not have to worry about what the uh, local conditions are like. It'd be a much nicer place where we can just do up everybody's morale to the point where they're not going to worry about the uh, absolute trauma that we have to send them through. It's like 100 degrees down here, and they, they, they all they do is come down and stroke this guy so he can produce some petroleum and then run away away again. Errat, Errat, he's got to stand here and just turn this, this handle all day, every day. It's so bad that I had to turn it off just for a little bit, just so he can go somewhere else rather than right here. And so we're going to try and make it much, much nicer for them over here, if they ever get round to these jobs. So having set these big piles of jobs to be done over here, I'm having a look down this bottom edge and I'm feeling like we could expand this area. If I come down to the room overlay, uh, we've got a room size of 83 tiles. We want it really to be a 96, but at the same time, I'd really like to fit two of them into this space. We've got a little bit of area down below that we could work with. So maybe we could move the liquid pump over this side and then have two areas. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to exp expose expand down into the magma but uh we'll have to try and figure something out i've been i've been threatening for some time to crack the top off of this and put a steam turbine on it and start cooling this whole area down even even if we start bringing it down to 200 it'd still be very hot yeah i think in here might be the place where we first start to do that free and infinite power maybe but first i'm going to start tidying all of this up as well as up here are they doing it up here there's randomness he's the guy who might be doing it what is your job right now Construction errands. Okay, bro, we're, we're building the ladders. This is exactly what we need. Because of the way everybody's got their priorities set up, we've had to turn a few alarms on here. I hope you can deal with the overwhelming screech of the alarms because these guys are not going to dig unless they do that. Honza wants to go and ranch. Erat wants to go and operate. So no, we've got to get them in and doing this. If we're lucky, we'll get it done by uh, the end of this cycle. I'm not I'm not overly optimistic. The lack of ladders is going to cause a little bit of problems. Random Random is, of course, going around trying to pick up the slack there where these guys are just digging. Hopefully it will work out. Okay, we didn't get it by the end of the first downtime, or at the end of the first cycle downtime has been called. Uh, but we, we've actually got a fair bunch done. Maybe like a third, maybe even half of, of, of the yellow alert section, obviously. We, we've barely even touched this lot. Uh, that's the end of the night. I'm going to leave the alarm running so that these guys get to it in the morning. There will be some problems from this. This this is going to come with a cost. I'm not sure exactly what it is yet, but whenever you run the alarm for more than, say, half a cycle, jobs get missed and then things start falling apart. Well, I'll get back to you to tell you what that was. <laughs> okay, everyone's been woken up with the alarm. I'm sure nothing bad will come from that. Okay, that's all the jobs done, at least the ones that needed to be overly prioritised. We're just going to wait and see what people are up to now. I've got a feeling that most of it, let's follow Era around. Power supply, going to be dropping some coal off, then some disinfectant, some digging. Oh, hello, that's pretty nice. That, doing that before storing coal in the bin, that's that's very interesting. Good, good job, Era. I wish there was a simple button press to cycle through your dupes and follow them. So we've got a lot of ranching going on with Honda. That's good. Randomers starting to pick up a little bit of stress. Just, just the smallest tickle of it. I wonder where it's coming from. Let's have a look. Stress here. Low morale. Hmm. Low morale. Okay. <laughs> hmm. 
Oh no, Randomers was digging and building and now the oil refineries got him. That, that's it until the end of the cycle. That's what his job is. Okay, that's, that's fine because we could always do with a little bit more petroleum. As you can see, we've got some being fed in from down below from the Slicksters, but it takes, uh, I think I read on the internet today, something like 19 Slicksters to be able to feed one of these things. It's a number like that. It could have been as low as 13. Which when these guys all hatch and we start getting loads in, maybe, maybe that's a thing that could happen. But with the 80% creature material, metabolism there i'm not sure i'm not sure how long 24 calories per cycle as opposed to 120 yeah this is one of the reasons i want to expand this out to another ranch area here i reckon we can fit two in this one has definitely got if we get the uh, the 10 by 9 it's, it's got just enough just enough space to be able to do some brilliant things with uh but we, we need some more skills and we need to deal with this nearly two tons of ethanol i've been uh, corner digging and corner building here to be able to try and get rid of this what have we got on the floor here igneous rock i was having troubles with that let's go igneous rock people are having to travel a long way uh now when they dig this and break this guy we should be able to get in there and do this i'm going to uh, pump some priorities because i feel like these three are very important. Oh, of course, downtime. I really should learn to watch the clock, right? Looks like randomness is going to be on it anyway. Beautiful. Okay, let's watch the amount of ethanol in here. 1,077.8 kilograms. Boom! 2,155.5. That's uh, quite a jump. And what else are we going to do apart from, of course, fill this in? We're just going to get rid of it. It's going to destroy it. Like, this, this is a problem, this much gas. 2,000 kilograms. Like, I... I feel like six kilograms of carbon dioxide down the bottom is a problem. And, you know, it's starting to fill out up back up here with four kilograms. Could you imagine if 2,000 got loose? Ooh, that would be horrific. I like, this is a high-pressure environment over here, and this still only goes up to 25. That's ten times worse than this. A hundred times worse. Wow, man, math, math, maths. How do maths work? Okay, last piece is going to go today. We've got to get rid of it. It's just, it's too much. As I said last time, it's just too, too much. The, the area is being expanded. This is nice. We're also going to put another steel door in down here, but we're, we're nearly out of steel, so I need to break one of these first. Okay, there we go. It's, it's gone. We don't have to worry about it anymore. In fact, we can destroy those tiles. Oh, yeah. Steel door being broken. Good, good timing, guys. Good timing. Door, go. Doesn't really matter if any of these get caught on either side because it's going to be two two ranches. No problem. Indeed, we're now too large. So we got we got to get this door built now. Boom. Done. Great. So far, the knock-on effects have been pretty minimal. So let's, uh, let's see if we can push our luck a little bit more. 110. Wow, 110. This should be fine, though. This, this this should be something that we just go through and knock out. Bam, 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 bam. One after the other, right? And I think this is job complete. All right. Hyper-focusing and absolutely ignoring everything else in our life for the win again. I'm sure nothing, nothing bad will come of this. Definitely not pushing all our dupes to exhaustion. Oh, wow. Okay, I've managed to get this stable up to 96 tiles. Unfortunately, I had to break this tile. Well, it was actually this tile here to move it up one, which lay a whole bunch of crude oil down below. This is obviously not what we want. So I have broken this line, going to collect it back together. Now, when it gets pumped up, it goes past this gas, uh, this liquid pipe element center. It's looking for petroleum. If it's not petroleum, spit it on the floor. Easy as that. Is this going to pick it back up, though? Not, not at the moment. Okay, we, we, we need to wait for it all to clear through, but I think it'll be fine. But yeah, with one stable down, the other one is on its way. We're about half size here. I'm a little bit worried about knocking through that steam, and I am eventually going to be taking down all these ladders as they are completely unnecessary. Randomers is not the person I was expecting to get stressed. So if we come up into the skills and have a look at Error, I have taken him all the way down to super hard digging. This is where I was expecting the stress to happen. What's going on? Randomers is just fine. He's just got what he's got. Hmm. All right, I'm sure many of you have been screaming about it, and you're right it would make no sense not to test it at all let's bring this down to four critters and let's come down here and put long haired slickster back on the menu and see what happens when one of these guys gets moved through now no one's going to be doing it right now but let's uh, pump up to top priority and see if anyone actually comes along i was kind of expecting honza okay In ah I, I see a little button that I forgot to tick. <laughs> okay, so with Honza coming along and grabbing this guy, is it going to immediately get moved over? Also, if I don't tick that, does that mean that this guy down here can have infinite storage? Is that is that the way it's going to work? I think it might be the way that it works out. Okay, so we've got a pending delivery. Why is it being said no pending deliveries? Is it because of the auto? No, it's not because of the auto. Hmm... 
I'm going to put the priority on here, and I'm going to put priority down here. It doesn't look like it's wanting to work, but let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. So he whistles one of them over. Uh, I, I know that you can't just click on and wrangle one of the slicksters, but we've used this mechanic to move them around these three separate chambers, so it shouldn't actually be a problem. Okay, so no delay. There we go. We've got a movement going on with Honza. All right, I'm going to pop this back down to... Uh, no, it's not Honza. Why, why, why did we suddenly get a change of person? It doesn't really matter. Nighttime. Nighttime is why we got a change of person. Okay. The long-haired slickster's got food poisoning in it. That's not ideal, if I'm to be honest with you. We'll have to try and track that down and find out what's going on, but Erat doing the good job, even during night. That's it's a little bit uh, unfortunate. I do like my guys to get enough sleep. Okay, we're going to hang around here and we're going to watch this long-haired slickster as his body temperature rises and let's see if this is a quicker way to kill them. I know, horrific, right? So we're already up to 44. According to this, it is livable all the way up to 90. So that's going to take a little bit of time to roll up there. Thankfully, we do have some other jobs working down here. We're trying to make our way through here. You can see I've already uh, built some insulated tile. We've got a whole bunch of steam back there that we're dealing with and then we'll be able to turn this into a full-size ranch well we need to take this bottom layer out if we're going to make it a full-size ranch that makes the liquid pump a little bit awkward but we'll, we'll see what we can do we'll, maybe we didn't need to drop all that crude oil down here oh well I'm guessing that the fact that he's in hot liquid is probably ha hastening this body temperature change I hope so anyway I'm not looking to drag this out any more than necessary Okay, we're up to 75 degrees, but I've just been noticing that stress has been building up here. Random as my friend, why are you so stressed? What's going on? Are you going... Ah, uh, I bet the going through that salt water there is not helping, and I bet this is a fairly horrific place. Oh, oh, look at that power wire that he's just been running back and forth by. Maybe we need to move that. This is our main... Uh, main walkway up and down. Perhaps we could do with moving this spline over here and pulling the power off of that. Ooh. It'd be quite the overhaul and the problem that we've actually got, if I can find the heavy watt wire, is that we don't have a great deal of stuff. You can see a hundred copper, so we can build one, one, one block, of one tile, that's the word I'm looking for, one tile of copper ore, two tiles of cobalt, one tile of iron, three of gold amalgam and seven of steel. It's not enough. It's not enough. And I don't, we are working through the iron ore here, here, but obviously almost all of it is being passed through for steel making. I'm going to turn that off because I believe over at Yakil we've got eight tons of iron, nearly, oh no, I suppose it's all being changed straight into iron, but there's no lime, and lime is the big problem there. Lime is something that we can be sold from Sharubi over here, uh, not Sharubi, this is Tur yeah, this is Taranu, but it's, it, it's a slow process, it's a slow process. Okay, wondering whether something is a slow process or not. We're up to 88 degrees for our long-haired slickster here. I believe we are on the same day, the same cycle, so this should be fine. Uh, the, the stress levels are still going up for randomers. We might need to try and do something. 90 degrees, there he's gone. Okay, and the meat is there. Okay, that's, that's good. That's... Who's going to come pick up the meat? <laughs> Randomers, randomers is coming to pick up the bit. That's good. He needed a break. Okay, is that going to bring his stress down at all? Probably not. He's one morale short. That's the problem. Hmm. In that case, then I think I might just keep one in the pen, and hopefully all the other critters should get moved out here. Honda is uh, number two. Okay, he's been very tired. It turns out, but that, that immediately off he goes to deal with his jobs. Okay, that's that's fine. That's great. There we go. Less than one cycle we got from slickster to barbecue that's that's how you do it brilliant just notice this unreachable toilet warning and coming over to shirubi where the problem is we've got no water in the toilet pipes this is pretty bad uh, it's uh pretty yeah it's a problem it's a problem uh let's try and figure out how we're going to solve it the problem is by the looks of it that we've not been turning over the petroleum generator people aren't concentrating on delivering oh okay so some of them yeah there's loads of lumber kicking around so why is this not being dealt, dealt with okay the problems are already starting uh the only real fix i can think of is to disconnect all the powers again to restart this i don't know how to 
force them to do the, these jobs here over everything else. Uh, I'm gonna have to check some priorities and go, one person needs to make sure they do this. And the way it's set up, it should actually be Dr. Captain Subs Esquire. I'm not sure why not. Let's uh, let's put some P9s across and see if that helps. I, I don't know what else is operating that, that should override that. May, maybe the Stone Crusher, but I just don't think so. Okay, not sure if this will actually speed the process up, but whilst there are no ethanol distilleries going, uh, I'm going to have them dumping the lumber in this spot here to drop it on the floor. The only problem is I need to go sweep only and then pick it. Ah, this is not going to work. This is actually not going to work. If we do it like this, he'll go around and grab some stuff, but then it will just drop directly here, and that's... That's not the winner. I mean, look at this. He's gonna pick up... Oh no, it's Ignis Rock. Okay, I thought he was gonna pick up some lumber from there, drop it off over here, and then pick up that lumber and put it back in. That, that would be hilarious. Okay, so I've put down a storage bin rather than the dropper. This should help us collect some lumber. It will just, it will just put it somewhere for Dr. Captain Subs Esquire, the second to be able to shuttle it back and forth. The water has been running for a little while now, but you'll notice there's no pickup on this pipe yet. Uh, that's because we're waiting for these liquids tiles to fill up there must have been some downtime because they're not quite a thousand kilograms per tile it is going up just very slowly as we speak while we're at it let's go ahead and put a whole bunch of pipe connecting up to here i'm going to use a liquid bridge to connect on just in case some does start coming back uh, and this should give us will give us construction only thanks uh fill those up this should give us access to this polluted water down here which we should be able to pick up and send along the system uh this literally just has a pipe blocked situation so we can't we can't go anywhere yet oh so someone's used the toilet that means somewhere along the line something has worked out. Look, there's water there. Okay, so some things work somewhere. That's that's good. Okay, there are liquids flowing, but the pipe's not on. Ah, we've run out of power in that time. The battery has drained some power over time. It's The losses just happen. The losses just happen. But we should be able to watch these beads go in the right direction. They come through. They're going to add on to this, which unfortunately has kind of shut down because we let all the power die from doing the uh, the alarm systems down the bottom here. That's that's unfortunate. That's, that's really unfortunate, actually. <laughs> okay, this inflow of liquid should Sure has sped up the filling process and if you watch very carefully you get to see the fabled point 10 there we go look at that that's amazing there must be some weird rounding systems going on there uh but that that's fine that means we are climbing up to the point where it will spill over in fact look at this 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 almost looks like it's we yeah we have filled up this top tile here so that means this is ready to spill over does that mean we have to do it all the way across just because of the way we've done it here i was kind of hoping that the bottom one would fill up and spill over like this but i i don't think that's the way it happens we need to pass water along the top here does that force all the carbon dioxide up it kind of does okay i'd really like to be able to get rid of that carbon dioxide somehow but i'm not sure how to do it maybe maybe we'll have a little gas trap back here I, I don't know i literally don't know but this this is good this means it's all starting to spread across i'm not sure how thin like what, what's the surface tension here how far will it spread okay so this leading tile seems to need to get to about 700 grams before it splits over that i'm fine with that four five six seven yeah there we go all right cool all right, we, we found the secret it, it needs to go to about 700 grams before oh that one was 400 grams i mean i'll take it i'm not i'm not not that bothered by it. Oh look, we got some meat right there. Why is nobody coming to pick it up and put it into this electric grill? Uh, has downtime been called? No. What's going on here? Cook supply, seven, Burke. Mm. People are eating though. I, I guess I'll let them off. Oh, we got flow. We've got flow. This means the water's starting to get back where we need it to. Also, all the water has condensed in our gold volcano set up here. Both of them gone dormant. Ah, that's, that's a bit of a shame. Of course, with them turning over, more power is provided, but that, that that's fine. We're still making messes over here. We do definitely have issues, but uh, it's issues that I'm hoping, yes, with the influx of water here, is going to be solved. The real question is, does the lumber keep turning overnight, or is this where it shuts down? It looks like this might be okay, as long as we can keep enough liquids in this pipe that Sir Dr. Captain Subs Esquire the second there he is can go through and do his job. I, I are hoping that's what he's going to do next. We've got a lot of carbon dioxide in here and we need some overspill of water into here to turn it into oxygen. That doesn't look like it's happened for a little while. Doesn't look like it's happened for a long while. Oh no. Oh no. Big problems have happened. 
Big problems have happened. Let's have a look at the gas exchange in here. This is fine, but really, but really, this needs to be changed like right now. This is where we have a little chlorine trap. Uh, so all our gases, oh, look at this. All our liquid, sorry, can be cleaned by the chlorine. We've got a bunch outside now. Oh, that's, that's pretty horrific. Mm. So we do have a gas line here we can feed onto. Oh man. Oh wait. What did, Kane, what are you doing here? Oh, this is this is still the same rocket. <laughs> wow, that that really confused me. This is this rocket. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. But man, we are we are having big problems right now. Where is the liquid? I mean, it is it is being fed through. It is on its way. Just almost all of it is filled with food poisoning and now without the chlorine, it's going to take a while to clean that stuff. Okay, the plan as it stands is we've got a tiny little gas pump here. It's picking up all the gases around it, hopefully grabbing these chlorines. Whether that happens or not, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. There's a quite a bit of chlorine and it's not doing the best job. In here, you can see, yes, there's some. Okay, great. Every time that this goes through, it gets detected and dropped back down. Notice how it's missing from the stream here. Look, there we go again. That should, oh, Burke, really? Uh, that should hopefully provide us with a nice system here. Are we going to pick up this excess chlorine? I don't know. Ah, oh, it's not as much as I was hoping as well. There's a, there's a fair bit of mixing, so we can hope. We can hope. Oh, look at that. The chlorine's made it all the way over here. Is it going to get picked up? Well, I guess for now, we're just going to leave that turning until it can get some of the chlorine dying. I mean, it does look like it keeps turning up occasionally. No surface germs doesn't help me. We need to see what's on the liquid. Thanks very much, germs. Dying on liquid. Nah, no, it's not, not with chlorine, is it? That's... Mm. It just doesn't get far enough out. That's that's the problem here. I just thought I'd come back and check Taranu quick. What's gone on here? Oh man, Th things. Things have gone on here. <laughs> Okay, I've kind of got a fix for this. Over at our Squeaky Puff farm, we are going to grab the Bleach Stone and we're going to put it in the teleport device over here. In fact, I'm going to get people to be doing that now and I want as much of that done as possible. Over on your kill, I'm also going to set up this conveyor loader to pick up Bleach Stone and hopefully, at the moment, no pending deliveries, but hopefully, hopefully when these guys come through and do their delivery there, we're going to be able to get some and put it... Like, I'm really worried because if we have a look down here, it's just going to be off-gassing and even at large amounts that off gassing can reduce it down to nothing pretty quickly we've got 84 kilograms right now let's come up to here i, I don't know what the the minimum we can send is two kilograms let's change now that is shirubi that's where we want it to be going uh what, what's it already got in it the gold amalgam okay that's fine i'm going to turn this down to whatever the minimum amount it will let me send is well maybe not maybe 50 Okay, it's all the bleach stone gone from there. Let's put that down to, uh, well, it's, uh, we're going to leave it at a nine for now. The yuck kill over here. How's it going? I should have turned this up to yellow alert. Is it not yellow alert? Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. We're looking at the wrong conveyor loader. That conveyor loader. No, that is up. Okay, what, what's the second one? This one. I, I've totally done this wrong at some point. Let's try and get rid of it. It's a problem having two conveyor loaders across the map that you can uh, select from across the map. Okay, so this should now just be... There we go. Bleach stone going into there. Great. What about down here? Boom. Off some of it goes. That's now going to Sharubi, where we're going to hopefully pick it up and... Uh, messes are being made, but that's fine. That's fine. And then dump it over here. <sighs> that's a long, long plan. Long plan. We're going to see how it works out, though. Wow. Wow. Wow, that's uh, quite the number of bullets in flight. I, I, I'm happy with this though, I'm happy with this. Okay, here come our first deliveries. Beautiful, beautiful. They're ready to unpack. They all have a lot of bleach stone in it. How do we get this going like now? Come on guys, now. I also need to turn this one on. Let's, let's just do that, shall we? Okay, bleach stone is dropped. Chlorine is being produced. All right, great. This should now mean, yeah, look at that. Our germs are going down finally. Uh, and at some point, it will be a low enough threshold. Below below two? Below one? It will, it will get there eventually. There we go. We've got some water leaving now. Now, we need to fill up the toilet pipe. Combat? Oh, it took a while. Uh, there, there was a loose slickster. Someone managed to uh, to drop one on route. Here he is. Here he is down here. Uh, and uh, th there's no way of dealing with it, unfortunately. So we just have to send in the troops. Let's uh, let's watch randomers do just that whilst we let the water drain through. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Once the uh, the meat has been harvested, is that 
Okay, interesting place to drop it, but I will take it. Uh, once the meat has been harvested, uh, we will drop back over to Sharubi. See how the water is doing. Okay, we've got some water in the liquid pipes. It's going through for more cleaning, though. Okay, we, that's fine. That's fine. I'm, I'm happy with this. I mean, yeah, to be fair, I suppose where we're getting all our water from is full of food poisoning. Okay, food poisoning isn't quite what I was expecting, but that's that's fine. I suppose I should have. It's what's it's what's here. <laughs> Oxygen is flowing again and just in time as well. 91% stress there. That is unbelievable. We've managed to go around and clean up most of the polluted water well enough to keep us going. And I've also put some power shutoffs controlled by this battery here. So when it drops to 1%, slams these guys open. So all the power is saved for these ethanol distillers and petroleum generators to make sure this carries on ticking over overnight. We still seem to be producing enough to keep going and the water is flowing all the way around the system. It's not quite as good as I was hoping, but we've got some back backlog here to keep the oxygenation going. Remember when we were trying to do stuff at Tyranu? Well, I will get back to this space over here in just one moment, but there's literally one thing I need to fix. It turns out that, well, we can see it right there, there is now gas being dropped by the oil well. I don't know if this is something that's always been there and I've just missed it, uh, or it's a new thing. I, I'm, I'm not entirely certain, but either way, we're now going to run it through this space here and have a bit of automation set up. If steam drop via vent, that should be easy enough. Of course, we're going to have to wait for the night time. That also explains all this liquid here. We're going to mop that up and get rid of that and we'll just slowly go through and try our best to fix all of these things. Okay, so we've now got a safety system here. We may have built a germ sensor instead of an element sensor to start with, so we've got a bit of plastic kicking around down there. It's likely to melt and turn into naphtha at some point. I'm a little bit worried uh, about that. If I go to the plastic and have a look inside here, it melts 159. That's the minimum temperature that this steam turbine turns on. So uh, yeah, may maybe some problems there. I think we've got somewhere we can send it to though. If I come up here and have a look at the plastics. Right, let's turn that on and see what gets dropped. I mean, there's a lot of stuff for sweeping, so <laughs> we'll see what actually gets picked up. Uh, looks like Honza is indeed headed in the direction we want him to be. All right, beautiful, brilliant. That's 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 all we want, to be honest. That's all we want. Oh, there's some steel back there as well. No, no problem. We don't actually need that moved. Uh, the plastic was going to turn into something else, though. All right, we're going to put that back onto a nine. These guys should follow through. No power. No petroleum. Okay, I think I've got the basic floor plan sorted out. We're going to have a sink on this side just in case people want to come out the back and do something down here. Don't know what, but that's, uh, that's up to them. Got a two-bed room here. I've got to leave three in the middle. I'm over and ironing about whether to put a door down and give them their own individual rooms or just put down a bunch of decor stuff in the middle there. Uh, we're going to have ourselves a great hall. I don't know if this is room for a great hall. Maybe we'll extend down to give us a bit more space. And, of course, over this side, we have got room for... Uh, I don't have any metal ore, but we could have uh, toilets on both floors with a sink on the other side. I wonder why... Yeah, well, where's where's my iron ore? <laughs> Cycle 999. Randomers has been doing this pretty much all on his own. He's got a fair amount done. I reckon very, very soon we're going to be able to get a bed built and start moving people into more comfy areas. Over on Cherubi, because we have been paying attention to this, I've built myself an auto sweeper. This has made Sir Dr. Captain Subs uh, into a mechatronics engineer. Probably not the time for it, so let's go ahead and scrub him there. But it does mean that these three ethanol distilleries are going to be kept entirely topped up as long as, long as we can keep people topping up this lumber here. Hicks has got a very high priority for that, but uh, just seems to take a while. There he goes. There he goes. Beautiful. And away the uh, the auto sweeper goes. All right, back to Tyranu because this is what we're actually watching. Go random as go. Oh, buddy, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really trying. I'm really trying to make this place better. Oh, oh, I feel bad. <laughs> Look at him. How could you not feel bad? Oh, cycle 1000, I think we can start moving people in. Era and Randomers, you're looking good. honza has got quite a nice spot down here at the moment, close to the uh, close to the ranch. So we'll leave him down there just for a moment. Oh, look at this green. Look at it. Lovely. Mm. 
Okay, I think we've got a bit of a horrific situation, sir. There's too much carbon dioxide here at all that we can't even get the electrolyzer turning over because it's max gas pressure. Uh, let's set that up. I've got I've got a few things going, like my water sieve wasn't being dealt with. So now we've got that up and running. We should be able to get some fresh water turning over so we can start turning over these machines again. That was uh, slightly unfortunate there. I don't know how long it's going to take for us to be able to scrub all the uh, the germs off of this, though we do have an entire chlorine at... Well, it was an entire chlorine in atmosphere. The carbon dioxide, of course, forcing its way through here. We need to try and purge this uh, this oxygen in here so people don't try and come in to catch their breath. In other news, the, the bedrooms are nearly done. Yay. Um, okay, it's, it's small small issues, though. Small issues. We need to head back to Sharubi. I mean, like, wow, wow. I'm going to take the extreme option of opening the door to let the carbon dioxide out. I don't know whether that's going to work or not, but it's the thing that I'm going to be doing. Hopefully, this, this isn't too bad. There it goes. It's off. Let's, let's see if we can get this down low enough that this electrolyzer can actually turn back on and start producing some oxygen for us again. Oh no, people are vomiting right in the worst spot. I'm sure the one thing we need right now is a bigger power draw, but we got to get this gas out of here. and we got to get it out of here now. Okay, it's starting to let loose some gases, so we definitely need to close this door as soon as anybody's on it. A anybody? Any moment? I suppose the fact that all these other priorities have been kicked in earlier might have something to do with that, but hopefully, hopefully... Yeah, there we go. Someone's going to get onto it straight away. Beautiful. So now we've got some oxygen building up. Maybe, maybe we can start claiming this asteroid back. <laughs> Okay, we'll see how long this takes. I am trying to set up some automation here. Let's put it up at a high priority to hopefully shut it down when it detects oxygen. Well, it's taken a lot longer than I thought it would, but I think the fight for Sharubi's atmosphere is slowly coming round to our way. You can see that we're starting to get some excess oxygen building up there. This guy's still pumping, and and I've tricked a pip into planting an oxy fern down below, so we're going to start destroying some of the carbon dioxide down here as well. The water is not quite flowing as quick as I would like, to, but as you can see we've got a bit of a backlog coming up here the sand uh, the sand and cleaning cycle had been interrupted by the way we were trying to sort all of this area out down here and what do I mean by sorting out the area down here I've got a new storage bin down where the auto sweeper can pick up and get to this ethanol distillery and this guy can still reach all the others it's a little bit of a pain just for that one extra guy but it keeps the power running overnight that's not the button I wanted this is the button I wanted it keeps the flower the uh, ethanol running overnight so we can keep the whole place going. Whew, back in Toronto, we have a little bit of a different issue kicking over. It is one of a lack of materials. Thankfully, we are now able to get all of the bathrooms in place for this first one. I think what we're going to be doing is, of course, the bad stuff comes out the top, and as we can see, it goes around this way. So we're going to be putting bad materials out the top, and we're going to take this this way. Beautiful. We'll probably take the clean water from here down both directions as well. Yeah, something like this looks like it should work out one. Wonderfully. And then this guy needs to jump over and come join in this top section over here, but that shouldn't be any problem either. Okay, mildly unconventional, bringing it up and over and round this way. If I press F6, it might be a little bit easier. This guy brings up and this guy brings up. This one jumps over and they both join this bridge to go up and into the scrub line. All right, beautiful. It's been a few cycles and I'm mostly waiting for the water systems to clear out. I see a few problems that kind of need fixing here. The biggest one, of course, is the fact that all the dirty water is being fed into the loop before it gets checked for germs, meaning that this tank needs to fill up before I actually stop the water sieve flowing and then we can have clean water going around. I don't know if there's a quick and easy fix for that. That might have to wait for another day, but a quick and easy fix that I can think of. I need to try and get down here to put down a liquid reservoir. I'm just gonna... Uh, gonna have to deal with some pipes here but we should be able to get this down and as we need it. We, we could do with having a bit of a backlog of water for the carbon skimmers here because um, 42 kilo kilos of carbon dioxide over a lot of space. That's a lot of carbon dioxide. Like a lot of carbon dioxide. Why aren't they breaking this? What's going on here? I've done a few other things. You might notice that we've got some hot, significantly high stress. The majority of that was, in fact, coming from the carbon dioxide. I'll go and deal with that in a second. Uh, so I've put a new conveyor loader on the outside that delivers the lumber to this storage bin here. Well, it just delivers it to the area, and then the auto sweeper goes around and picks up all the other stuff. I'm trying to clean up the carbon dioxide out here. If this guy picks up anything other than oxygen, it will be pumping through. Just trying to make the place a little bit nicer. Bring down those stress levels just a 
little, because every, everyone, everyone's tweaking the smallest amount. Another thing I've just thought of, I'm going to change the destination of uh, this guy. Let's change that over to Taranu. The Taranu, of course, is the place that is dealing with all our uh, hydrocarbons and stuff. But also, it has up here the, uh, the poke shells. I think we could feed all our polluted oxygen from Cherubi over that way. So if we're doing Taranu and come down here and do the polluted dirt as well as the eggshells, I think we should end up with some good things happening there. The uh, the automatic systems are just kind of already ticking over in the background for the poke shells to be fed and stuffed properly. Look, we've even got an auto sweeper for them. Okay, liquid reservoir in place. We just need to wait for this to go through and clean some germs. In the meantime, and for the final thing we can do today, I've noticed that we've got significant amounts of polluted water with food poisoning in it. There is a thing that we can do to fix this. If I come over to my plumbing down here, it's not plumbing at all, is it? It's the utilities. I want to get myself a tepidizer. We're going to slap that there, and we're going to get a automation signal, thermo sensor, just, yeah, just there, I think will be perfect. Aluminium, nothing should be made of steel anymore. And of course, the power, we are just going to leach from here. We're going to set this to warm to 75 degrees. If we look at the polluted water, no, we're not going to look at the polluted water. We're going to click on the germs and find food poisoning. It can live up to 75 degrees. And if we have a look at the uh, the puffs over here, they can, they are, they're uncomfortable at 65 and above, but they can survive up to 115. So I think we can deal with our problems here. Ah, uh, there's... There's water being fed it. Oh no. I mean it's not the end of the world. It could be pumped back out, but it's not it's, it's not ideal. I mean it looks cool. It looks very cool. I mean where where is it even going? Are we uh liquid 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 where are you? It's not it's not making its way down at all. I mean is the polluted water overwriting it? Is there some sort of like infinite liquid thing going on here? I mean I hope not. If I discovered a way to turn normal water into polluted water. I mean I'm kind of about it. Okay, send a green signal if below 75. This should turn the tepidizer on. We're going to start warming the liquids up. Ah, oh, unfortunately, it is evening time, so uh, solar power's dying. This guy is turning over, but uh, we got we got cut quite the base now. Quite the base. It's really, really drawing more than the, the, the two kilowatts can provide. This steam turbine's giving it some, but gold just doesn't warm up the area. This thermal aqua tuner barely has had to turn on. It it's all just seems to be passively passively cooled. And still, despite all the mixture of water coming in, no water has made it down here. I've, I've, I seem to have made some sort of filtering device. Well, we've solved the water issue. We've also set up some things that are slowly solving the stress issue. We found out a weird mechanic of the game. And let's not forget that we actually started over here looking at these beds and, of course, got ourselves a two new ranches going. What an action-packed day. I am really running over my uh, episode length here so i'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen i will see you guys next time where we're going to go around and just make sure everyone is a-okay before moving on to some more advanced technology but i will see you then when we're going to do that bye